Just a quick update, I have one or two questions. You see I've got the joystick in place now. Uh, moving across are the four buttons, which as you see press very easily, nice mushy feel. And that is due to the rubber backed tack switches, which actually are really very handy. The buttons are stopped from rotating because uh, of little grooves inside the buttonholes and as you see there's no movement when I press the tack switches which of course have just been secured in place by a bit of hot glue. One speaker is in place already, um, the other one I just need to secure. Um, this will be the um, start button, the two volume and the two contrast buttons and of course the old D-pad. This was the N64 Superpad uh, joystick. It only needs to be secured in the four corners by a bit of hot glue, which is very, very handy. And as you see, it's right up against the edge, as it is on the side here with the VMU. Um, about as snug as it can be. Just to pan out very, very slightly, one of the things about this um, is I've made the case literally about as small as it can get um, in order to use the setup I've got. Putting in a spare board I've got, as you see, it will fit. Although I just need to take the smallest of the corner off, which is grounding, so that doesn't really matter. This is also achievable because the part that connects the CD unit to the motherboard is all wired up. So I can move that unit backwards or forwards as required.